السلام عليكم جميعا واسعد الله مساءكم بكل خير جود افترنون ليديز اند جنتلمنز ثانك يو فور اتندينج ذس فاليوبل كونفرنس اند ثانك يو اولسو فور سمارا تريننج فور ذس اولسو جود اوبورتونيتي فور مي تو بريزنت ذا سبجكت اوف انفلوينس اوف سكولز اون تشايلد سيفتي مي بي شي بوت مي ان تشالنجينج بوزيشن ات ذا اند مي بي ناو ايفري وان ثينكينج اباوت لانش بت I'm trying to, يعني my challenge is to make, uh, to make you awake, inshallah. I'm trying my best. What do you think, Samar? <laughs> okay. Exactly. Exactly. Inshallah. So, we'll be in completion, actually, to the topics of uh, my colleague's uh, teacher, uh, Mahdi. So, uh, but we'll take in, I will talk in a different uh, Uh, direction. So quickly, I will talk about com community culture and factors of influences, and that's introduction to the company's efforts and uh, child safety. So community culture. Can you jump? <laughs> so just a question to make the whole just active. For those who visit Oman for the first time, can you raise your hand, please? I have an offer for you. No, no, you are here. No one is visiting Oman for the first time? <laughs> We'll not have an offer for that one. <laughs> okay. So, can you guess what is this and what is it made for? Okay, the, the offer, uh, I will invite you for a lunch. But different lunch, not uh, conference lunch. <laughs> But it's linked actually to this photo, to this picture. Okay. So there is a special meal called shua. So you know shua, maybe probably you taste it. Uh, yeah, shua is nothing but a meat. Uh, it's just, uh, we can say, um, uh, put it in a thick uh, blend of uh, oil and spices and rubbed with the, uh, with the balm uh, fronds. It's like roasted bag. And then later on, they celebrate in Eid by uh, cooking the, me the meat in this pit. We call it the Shua pit. And this uh, cooked over the hot embers uh, underground. So after two days, like three days, they open it and very delicious. You have to try that one. So this is not our subject, actually. Our sub subject, a true story, happened in last Eid, that uh, two uh, persons challenging each other, can you jump, over like three to two diameter of the Shua pit. So imagine this one. So the idea here, I don't know if they jump or not, but This is, has been told by my colleagues. He's a specialist in the HSC also as well. So he's talking to me about the community culture. And this is not only in Oman, actually, in every uh, country, that we made a challenge on risk. And this is especially start in the childhood to prove that I am powerful or uh, he's proof like he's a man, he's a younger, something, something like this. So yes, this is the culture that we have. Uh, Mr. Mahdi talked a lot about the child uh, culture. So if they build on continuous, like this challenging, of course, we'll have like a shortcut later on in the workplace. We have also environmental factors. So for those who are living in desert, maybe Mr. Salem, he's living in Bidia, so know a lot ab about this one. So you know Mr. Salem, that uh, especially in the childhood stage that uh, children, they get used to run and walk without shoes. And maybe he get to use to this habit over a years. Then suddenly, after 25 years, join a workplace and the company asked that person to wear the safety shoes. Was, I don't know what is the, the weight, it's like three kg and for 12 hours. So, The question here, is this belief in safety as a value? Because he got a habit before. So someone need to, uh, at that stage actually, to educate and uh, 
to 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 enlighten the 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 mind about why we are wearing, for example, safety shoes. Who lives in the mountain, and not specifically in mountains, actually, even in the agriculture uh, lands, we have a lot of areas here. So you know, when harvesting the palm dates, we are climbing the we we say climbing or what, what? So we have this soil, in Oman we call it. So no harness, no helmet, and this is in the culture. Now I can يعني, challenge anyone here to go and wear like um, safety harness or because this is the truth. This is the truth that happened. This is the culture that we have. Even with the tanur or that shua bit, the way of way we are doing this one. And we have fatalities. Maybe Mr. Muhammad is not here, Mujini, uh, mentioned about this one. So yes, we have uh, the, the, and later on in the companies, we request from here to working at height. So he's like, he's saying, uh, he's he feeling himself confident or overcompetent over actually, and have that confidentiality that I used to climb mountains, I used to climb uh, bandits. Now I'm working in a height and just doing a small work. He's not believing in safety as a value. So what we can do? We have factors of influence here. So what is the factor of influence? Actually, a lot of influence, but I try to summarize it here for the family lead by example, education, and company. So let's start from the family. If the parents teach their children the importance of wearing the safety belt, and they lead by example in the vehicle that alerting others if they are driving, Okay, and that person is not wearing the safety belt. He's, they are not allowed yani, to do this unsafe act. Then later on, after getting that, this habit, in the company will not, will not need a procedure or the rules to follow this instruction because he believes on this one. But still we need to have the importance of explaining the, 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 the issue. Communication, as uh, Nadira also talked about it. Taking risk, we talk about it, but here lead by example, most probably from the friends. So friends, peer of pressure. So if it is built up also, as like get to use to have that taking risk, later on we'll have a shortcut. So in the absence of the enforcement or for example supervisions, that person, because of this habit or because of the culture that built in, will have a shortcut in the workplace. Culture change, I will talk in more details about this in the next slide, about companies and their effort, how to change the culture. And then the technical side, enrich knowledge for the education and schools. Uh, Mehdi make it easy for me, so I'll just, I will add uh, some points about this one. Okay, so HSE from work culture to lifestyle. What the, the company is actually doing? They're doing great from all type of the companies. But they spend a lot of effort, time, and money just to change the culture. So eventually, if we are doing root cause analysis in the culture, this built on of over يعني, years from that child to be a younger and then join the workplace. So why we don't uh, start from the child? That the same also session from Mahdi talking about from uh, the, the, before the schools, Riyadh al Atfal, the KG, KG1 and 2. So we have actually four types of the culture in the company. Firefighters, for those companies that do, they don't have rules or system, they just follow the action by fighting the fire. So accident happen, everyone run. Why this is happening? Why this is accident happening? There is no rules, there is no system. So this is the initial stage. Then compliance. Compliance, for example, in the uh, private sector, we have uh, Ministry of Manpower uh, regulation. So all the companies are supposed to uh, follow all these rules and regulations. General regulation, but that come here as management of control and discipline. 
Even in the uh, civil uh, sector, we have also regulation. For example, education, also Mehdi talk about ISO that can be implemented. Then most of the company actually here, risk management, where we have system driven. It's uh, basically the safety management system based on plan, do, check, act, and also continual improvement for everything, risk, risk, risk register, uh, planning, how to control the risk. So people may be fall in this uh, stage, but the question again, do they really believe in safety as a value? This is the question. Because again, in the absence of the influence and in the absence of supervisions, you cannot put supervisor all the time. So that's why the, uh, the human factor is the common, uh, like 95% to, I don't know the percentage exactly, as the, uh, the causes of uh, most of the accident. So yes, that's true. We want to reach to this stage of the culture, that people driven. So the same example of wearing the safety belt. Okay? So that, for example, stuff later on, will not lead a regulation and rules to follow what his belief on it, because it's driven by people. So we actually, we can, not 100%, but we can hit this stage from the beginning, from the child, after that they join the companies. And it's not about the workplace, actually. It's about the community. It's about the society. Everything is linked together about loose prevention we are talking about. So child safety, probably Mahdi elaborate more here. I can add parents' involvement through the, the uh, uh, we can say parents' council or in Arabic, Maglis al-Aba wal ummahat through the through the schools. So parents' involvement very important. Also supposed to be like a scheduled visit from the parents, not to leave their children there. So it can be like a rules and regulation from the Ministry of uh, Education and also private schools, others also institutes. Okay. We'll talk about also semester visit to college and companies. In the old, if you remember that we get used to يعني, visit the convention of, uh, of books, why we don't have also uh, uh, visits for the companies. We have actually, but we want this encouraged from all the sectors, civil sectors and private sectors, to have like semester visit, encourage that one to visit the uh, students from uh, schools to visit their companies. I wish for teachers, probably not all teachers, but at least one teacher in one uh, school, uh, we're talking about يعني, how to empower the safety culture, how to deliver this in a good way. We're supposed to have a specialist in this field. Safety management system, in the, in the schools we can talk about workshops, awareness, competition, reporting, alerts, but that's supposed to be driven by HSE specialists on the region. For example, uh, Al-Batana South region. At least if we have like one HSE specialist, specialized in how to drive this safety culture in school. They have like scheduled visit in the schools, uh, meet with the designated teacher in that school to deliver the awareness and the workshop. Last but not least, one separate course. Mentioned, you probably mentioned this one also. But we can do one thing now as a short term. Integration on materials and syllabus. So the, uh, the the high يعني, uh, basement of students, they are in government schools. So we have, so we have a department for developing the syllabus and materials. So from there, it can be linked to all the, the materials that we have. I will tell you one story. I deliver one session about home safety in my uh, village to a group of uh, a uh, group of students and their parents, and ask one question. How you can distinguish the fire in a cooking oil? 
So he answered me, one student, a perfect answer. I mean technical safety answer. He said, I will extinguish this fire by using the fire blanket horizontally and then moving the container from the heat source. And I asked him a couple of questions. He knows what is the fire triangle. He knows what is uh, the, the, the difference in the viscosity between the water and the oil. So I expect, I expect an answer from the parents, but I'm not expecting any details in the parents. So that's why we have supposed to have a development in this one. Okay, maybe one يعني, good thing that I have the last session. This photo I can end uh, all session if you allow me. That our beloved Oman is deserved a lot from you as a leader's belief and safety as a value. So start from your family first, from your community, from your companies, from anywhere that you can يعني, deliver this safety to believe as a value. Because by this one, we can reach to a culture that we have people-driven. Thank you very much.